Hey guys, welcome back. Can you guys see this? There are more hogs in the trap. We have two two pigs trapped up right now, same place like Travis. But we recently trapped this pig and uh, put a GPS tracker on the collar. Got some great data back. Now I took basically this GPS tracker at the next level. Now the first one was really good. We got some great info back, but ultimately I wanted to run this experiment a little longer. So two days of data is good, but I'd like to see more. I'd like to see probably about a week of data and then still have enough battery left to retrieve that color by knowing where they are and then uh, taking them out as we know where the location is. So I took this tracker and took it apart. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a gap in the housing, so I was rather rough with it, but I had to do that to get it apart. It's glued together basically, so there was no um, gentle way to get this apart. Uh, you can see the battery strap in the bottom. So this is basically now a 2300 milliampere battery. Uh, just for reference, the battery which was on the before was 800 milliampere's. And 800 milliampere's gave us about two days worth of data with a feral hog con constantly basically on the move almost constantly. So what I wanna do is get out there, take a look at this pig, definitely <laughs> definitely bigger than the one we get uh, had the other day and that was already uh, kind of rough. But I'm hoping I'm also getting better at it. So I'm gonna be trying to wrangle this pig today. New tracker is gonna be in this little pelican case. Uh, needs to be waterproof because they get into all kinds of nasty stuff, right? Uh, pelican case and then a little pouch which I don't know where it is right now but the pouch has a little American flag on the outside so thank you for your service piggy um, and then uh, we'll see how it goes so you guys stay tuned and see in a bit hey guys so we're back out here uh, trap is behind me I have this dude with me he goes by what do you go by just Chris just Chris yeah well you guys come up with a better name uh, <laughs> for this guy because I have too many crystals around me. All right, we got two two pigs in a in a trap. One is a feisty little uh, sow. This time I'm gonna get it right. She's a sow. Her nose is a little bloody. She's trying to get out. Uh, behind her, that's a little boar. So he's gonna get dispatched here pretty quick. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that tracker on that sow. And I hope that the color I have. I bought some new ones that they are big enough, but worst case, I uh, bought uh, one of them, basically two of them, so we can strap them together and make one bigger one out of it. But I'm hoping they fit. She looks feisty, <laughs> so it'll be interesting. Chris told me he's up to uh, just trying to wrangle them himself. I'm like, fine, go go ahead and knock yourself out. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch a video of the thing. I also have my son Eric with me, uh, so he might take the camera here a little bit and film for us. But yeah, uh, you want to see, last time, uh, Billy the boar. That pig turned out to be a, a, a boar, even though in the whole video I talked about her and the sow and whatnot. I just got too focused on this whole, like, getting that pig out of that trap and getting the, the tracker on her and everything. So I didn't really pay attention to the private parts too much, but turned out to be a boar. This time we want to put it on a, on a sow, see if uh, there's a different behavior, different pattern. Also, uh, the tracker right now is like, it's pimped. I mean, that thing is gonna run for a week, hopefully. I put a big battery on it, um, put it in a waterproof pelican case because I had to pry apart the housing, but it should run for a whole week, so it should get us good data. And then I want to use it to actually, you know, come back during the day, see where they are and see if we can sneak up on them let them hit them where they're basically bedding down to see how, how many we get that way. So that's the plan. Uh, I think we're gonna go take care of that little dude. Or maybe we try to get the... Well, we need to figure out because that, that color seems a little small for the big one. So Chris already is going ahead and um, getting both together. And that way we get double the size out of it. So that should then do that job. Do you want to go one one more maybe so we have a little bit more room back here? I was going to die as well. Oh, okay. Alright, then I guess we're going to go ahead and get that little boar. And I have some friends at actually Infinity Conversions. They want some meat, so I'm going to 
get those hams off this guy and then uh, JJ and Patrick Infinity Conversions, you guys are welcome. Try to have his hind legs. So I'm pull it up. And then um, I'm gonna, oh, if you want to try it, uh, no, I'm serious, if you want to try it. Do you want to try it? Try it, like grabbing the hand the end? Yeah, and then lifting him aside. So what you want to do is, yeah, I mean, you probably know what to grab it. And don't let go. This, over here. You're going to try to do that basically right here. Like two fingers losing it. Oh, is it? I'm gonna take it off and see if it keeps too much. I'm gonna jump on the truck. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, one, two, three. All right. Well, we, uh, that is a trooper right there, because he was struggling getting the extra holes in the color. Seeing it run off, that that color was definitely hanging too low. Like the pouch was hanging like lower than her neck down here. So it's not ideal. Maybe this thing is gonna come off somewhere. But um, I put a phone number on there and put a business card inside. If somebody finds it, hopefully they call us. First case, the investment isn't that big. Uh, but yeah, she took off. I got the life tracker on right now. So we see uh, that she's slowly making her way. She's super exhausted. I'm exhausted. Mr. Chris is exhausted. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have my arm full of bruises tomorrow. See you have anything? No, nothing new. No, you won't see it right now, but nope, right tomorrow now. it'll be there. Blood in my uh, jeans. Blood in the jeans. Yep. I don't think I can pull this jacket for that, but left this giant bruise in my arm from last time and then now I know where it came from because when she was still like full of energy and kicked and I was hanging on to her hind legs my arm just got in between or banged all the way against that what is it goat fence or whatever like uh, the arm is gonna be full of bruises tomorrow but uh, let's see how how this is working out hopefully we get at least a few days out of it, the battery should be doing okay, so maybe I have a chance to retrieve that tracker at some point. If it falls off, maybe it stays on, we'll, we'll find out. But I think for now, this was somewhat successful. 
definitely exhausting. Now I have another pig back there. I need to take some meat off. And uh, Mr. Chris here has a adventure. He's gonna tell his grandkids about someday. I don't know if he's gonna have kids. Probably <laughs> not. Don't I'll tell my wife about it. Don't do it. Alright, uh, that's it for now. I'll see you guys soon. Um, maybe we hang out a little bit here. We have a tiny power wagon meet up. Uh, this guy happened to buy uh, one too. That's how we met at first, right? Yeah. You, you wanted to see the power wagon, right? Yeah, I wanted to buy one and. Uh, want to be as, as cool as this guy. Cooler, probably. Uh, you're the one with the purple earrings, just <laughs> pointing that out. Um, yeah, alright. Hang out here a little bit. I did bring some rifles. I have the Steyr with me and uh, then the Aero 10. Maybe we'll hang out a little bit, uh, maybe not, it's shortly after 6. Mr. Eric gets to stay up after bedtime tonight, so he, he's happy. Um, let's see what we can do, uh, see you guys in a bit. So I put some corn down on that road down there next to the feeder, so maybe we have some pigs coming in. But for now we're just gonna plink a little bit with some, some 22s. I have a Walter P22, I have a new suppressor on it, the CGS Siren. Um, 22 can from from CGS. It's carbon fiber as Mr. Chris is just checking out here um, It's super lightweight uh, sounds fantastic um, I also have the AAC Prodigy on the rifle in the car. Maybe we can do a quick comparison, but uh, you can take a few two rounds So I did notice the uh, first round popped a bit, but second round and following round were pretty quiet. But yeah, the first round popped uh, with the CGS siren, but super quiet. I dig it. It's quiet. It's carbon. I like the carbon a lot. He cares mostly about the carbon. <laughs> no, it's it's a slick looking can. I mean, it doesn't add much weight to the front. Seems really well built. Honestly, it, it, it kind of feels like plastic a little bit. I mean, but it's 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 kind of interesting that the you know the carbon fiber as material uh, for silencer. I haven't seen a carbon fiber can yeah. before, to be honest. It's really for like the length of it, though, the weight, like on the front, which I like. Hopefully, the audio is not too bad. It's pretty windy. It's it's ridiculous. We had like 70, 80 degrees this morning, and uh, I'm in my little Bundeswehr thing here. Eric is freezing. It's like down to 60 right now, even below 60. So cold front coming through didn't really see that coming but let's take that uh, uh, 22 rifle out like I said it has the AAC Prodigy on there that's a little Savage Savage Arms uh, I think it's a Mark 2 or 3 what they call it Savage Arms Mark 2 you want to shoot that, Eric? You want to shoot it? That's good. Okay. You know what? I think you're going to have to pull it back. So, pull it back. Yeah, up, all the way. And pull it back. Yeah. Now it's in there. Right, now you get one in the chamber. Felt pretty close. We can we can find it. Do it again. No, I go look for it.
good in the same spot. Handy. Got two more. AAC Prada G22. Uh, 22 is coming out of this uh, through, you know, due to the um, barrel length uh, a little faster than the pistol. Um, you have a little bit of echo going on from the from the wall and then also the trees, but uh, nice and quiet. We shot it the other day out in the field, uh, but we didn't have that kind of echo going on. Um, really nice shooting uh, suppressor. Same thing for the CGS Siren. Um, both suppressors, which were actually recommended to me and. Pretty happy with it. Perfect for getting young shooters started on, you know, shooting some some 22s, and hopefully eventually getting him to be ready for some deer hunting. Probably not this year, but next year. I have a 243 Winchester ready for him whenever he decides he's ready. So, but yeah, uh, 222 cans. A uh, price point, I think they're uh, at around 300, I believe. But uh, you guys can check it out online. Um, Nice and light, doesn't add any weight to the front. Uh, you can see here also the diameter wise, almost looks like it's just an extension of the barrel. The CGS siren looks pretty good in the P22. Um, it's fun for planking uh, and uh, nice and quiet. So I'm gonna check the GPS tracker, see where I'm gonna name him. Oh, now it's, a, now it's actually a sow. So this time it's a sow. We're gonna name her, um, what did I have the other day? Betty. It wasn't Betty, it was Bella, I think, or something like that. Fine, Betty. Betty the sow. Uh, see where Betty is and then uh, hopefully the tracker stays on. It was pretty loose, but hopefully we'll find it again. Uh, worst case, if it comes off, at least it's off her and she doesn't have the thing hanging around it forever. Um, and uh, maybe we can retrieve it, but worst case, the investment wasn't too big. So, All right, let's go look if you find some pigs. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you next time.